Welcome, welcome, welcome to Story Time with me, Miss Sheila. Hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today's story is called The Jelly Beans and the Big Camp Kickoff. Woohoo! So let's get into it, okay? Okay. It went to begin. Nicole loved to play soccer. Do you like to play soccer? Yes? What other sports? Oh, oh how fun! So well, let's get back into the story. She practiced while cleaning her room. Look at, she's got the soccer ball on top of her head. She practiced while walking home from school. She's carrying all her books. Oh, she dropped one right there. Look at that. Kicking her soccer ball. And even practiced while trying to fall asleep at night. Look right on her foot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nicole and her best friends, Emily, Anna, and Bitsy, were going to camp. Pookawow. <laughs> what a name, Camp Pookawow. Emily loved to dance, Anna loved to read, and Bitsy loved arts and crafts. Before they left for camp, the girls stopped at their favorite place, Petunias, and shared their favorite candy, jelly beans. Just as jelly beans are different flavors, but go to get well together, the girls were all different, but got along great. And so they called themselves the Jelly Beans, too. <laughs> That's why the title of the book is The Jelly Beans Go to Camp. The Jelly Beans boarded the bus for camp. I can't wait to go on major hikes, said Emily. I hope there aren't any bugs, said Bitsy. I'm excited to sing campfire songs, said Anna. I want to play games, Nicole said, balancing the soccer ball on her head. When the girls finally arrived, they were greeted by Miss Jangly Cheezer, <laughs> their camp counselor. Welcome to Camp Pookawow, Miss Jangly Cheezer said. We're going to have a terrific summer. Now it's time to go swimming. The girls changed into their suits and joined the other campers by the lake. Nicole did a cannonball into the water. Ellen, 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 oh my goodness, my words are not coming out. Emily um, dived gracefully. Anna swam the slide stroke. And Bitsy floated on the inner tube. <laughs> that night, they gathered around the campfire. Toasted marshmallows, yum. Yummy, the jelly bean said. And then Anna read the ghost story. The next morning, Miss Jangly Cheezer told the jelly beans about the fun activities they could do at Camp Puk Pukawau. There is something for everyone. Emily was thrilled that there was a dance class. She learned wonderful dances from other countries. Bitsy went to the crafts room where she made macaroon necklaces for her friends. Anna read books about nature while sitting under an oak tree. But Nicole couldn't find anything that was just right for her. Oh, I want to play soccer. I'm sorry, Nicole. Camp Pukawau doesn't have a soccer team, but we have lots of other sports you could try. So Nicole tried tennis. She didn't like it. She tried gymnastics. She didn't like that either. Finally, Nicole tried kayaking. But that was the worst of all, because look at she fell in and she's a cat. Those cats don't like water. I miss playing soccer. I have an idea, Emily said. Why don't we start our own soccer team? Sounds great, Bitsy added. I'll join the team too, Anna said. What a wonderful idea, Miss Changley Cheezer said. Maybe we can play a game with Camp Mukiwana. <laughs> Mukiwana. Let's start practicing, Nicole shouted. Nicole taught the girls how to dribble and kicked into the corner of the goal. Anna read the rule book and explained the game. Emily played, played the goalie and leaped like a dancer. Bitsy made uniforms. The day of the big game arrived, the jelly beans took their positions on the field. The players on the Camp Mukiwana team were big. Really big. Nicole started to feel nervous. Miss Jangly Cheezer blew the whistle. Let the big camp kickoff begin. 
Nicole ran and kicked. She passed the ball back and forth with Betsy and Anna. Emily made a daring save. Look at that. Look at their teachers have a letter me, me, saying bean. Short for jelly bean. But the Mookie Wana team was just as good, and the score was tired. Right, wait one minute. Left for the game. Nicole changed down, charged down the field. She was in position for the winning goal, but she couldn't move. I don't think I can kick that far, Nicole said. You can do it, Emily, shouted from the other end of the field. You're the best soccer player at Camp Puko. Wow, Fitzy added. Go, Nicole, go. Nicole heard her friends cheering and took a deep breath. She kicked the ball so hard as she could. It zoomed up, up, up. Go. Miss Changley Cheezer cried, Hooray for the jelly beans in camp. Puka wow. Woohoo! Gotta keep trying. The girls hugged Nicole and jumped up and down. You were amazing, said Anna. Fantastic kick, said added Betsy. After the game, Emily said, I have a big surprise. She pulled out a bag of petunias. I've been saving these for a special occasion. And this is it, said Anna. Hooray for Nicole, said Bitsy. Hooray for us, us, shouted Nicole. Hooray for Jelly Beans. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that story and that you had fun. Until next time with me, Michelle, you keep shining your light. Bye. Bye for now.